baby, listen, I don't need a reason. If y'all want to give me a discount to spend some money on some stuff I want to spend some money on, thank you, boo. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I am filming one of my favorite videos. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you know what it is. We have a little haul. It's not huge, but the price tag is. I picked up a little bit of a hodgepodge. So we have some Sephora. We have some Demessa Myrix. We have some indie brand stuff. I even have a little bit of drugstore. A little bit. A little tiny bit. I cannot wait to show you guys what I picked up. I'm excited about a lot of it. So that is why you see this big smile on my face. Before we get into the video, if you are new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. We do a lot of hauls. I love me some makeup. We all know this. I won't keep you guys waiting. If you want to see what I picked up in my most recent haul, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so I have my little bin right here and it is packed pretty tight. We got some Sephora some Marshalls, some Target, some indie brand, just a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of makeup. First, I'm excited about this. I finally found the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster. Now this has been around for a while. A lot of people have talked about it and I was not able to find it. So I'm glad I was finally able to get my hands on it. I'm trying to open it. The only shade that they had available in the store that I found, I got mine at Target, is shade number seven, which I feel like is gonna be a little deep for me, but I don't mind that at all. Y'all know what the packaging looks like. Yeah, she's a little deep. They didn't have any other shades, but I don't know that this gives a lot of coverage. I haven't even swatched this yet, so. Ooh. I don't know why I thought this was just going to be kind of like the uh, Charlotte Tilbury, just like the glow, but this kind of looks almost like foundation. And that is very deep. So I'm just going to blend this out with my brush and see what happens. That is what the shade looks like there. It's actually a really, no, we're not. <laughs> Oh Lord, here we go already. That's not a bad shade. It's a, not as dark as I thought it was gonna be and I think it'll look great under foundation. I do feel like it makes my hand look smooth already. So have not tried this yet, but I will be trying it soon just to see how it compares to the Charlotte Tilbury as well as some other products that I've picked up over the years that I think is similar to something like this. So stay tuned for a video on that. Next, I picked this up from Marshalls, and this is kind of one of those things where you're like, Barbara, why? I have told y'all about my love for Anastasia Beverly Hills Soul Up Culture Palette, and I have one, and I don't use it because I was like, I don't know. I have this thing where if I can't replace it, I don't want to use it because I don't want to run out of it. I found one at Marshalls. This was 25 bucks. If you know what subculture looks like, you already know greens, gorgeous. So this is actually, every time I look at this, I love this freaking color story. It is so pretty and grungy and just, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now I have a backup of this palette and that is going to make me pull out my other one and use it more because I've literally just been holding on to it because it makes no sense, right? You buy the makeup, you're supposed to use the makeup. You're supposed to run out of the makeup, especially when you have as much makeup as I do, but we're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna go to the next product. I'm excited to have that in my collection again. Next, I picked up the Ardell Extended Wear Lash System. This is not cluster, is it clusters? It is clusters. Okay, so these are lash clusters that are supposed to work like lash extensions and they are supposed to last up to six days. And it says that you're supposed to apply them under your lashes instead of on top of your lashes. 
I have not tried this yet. I've been interested in like trying to cut my lashes and maybe do clusters. I'm not going to do lash extensions, never, ever. I don't want to. I'm scared of them. So I'm going to do lashes or I'm going to try something like this. But I just wanted to see if this is something I could wear and like sleep in it and be okay because I can't even sleep in regular lashes. Strips, no. So I'm going to try this when I don't have to worry about like if I have a reaction to it or my eyes don't cooperate with it. That's another thing I'm worried about. So I will keep you guys posted on this, but I'm sure you could probably just cut up strip lashes and have the same effect. I just don't know if they last as long and what the glue and the sealant is in here. Yeah, you get clusters and then a lash adhesive and then a lash remover. So we will see how this works. This next palette, yes, it is another palette, is I'm blaming this on Lynette because she sent me an Instagram message and told me that she got it and she got it on sale and I was like, well, I need to try to get it too. This is the Michaela Pot 2 Glam Light Palette. I wanted the smaller one and that one has been sold out forever. This was at CVS and I had a 40% off coupon plus extra bucks. So I think I paid maybe 17, 18, no more than 20 bucks for it. That made me excited to have the big palette because the small one I think cost the same amount. This has been out for a while. I don't have any, I do have Glam Light, let me not lie, but this one really got me because of the green, but I like how it has the sequin kind of glitter on the inside. And then I'm sure you guys have seen this, but this is what the palette looks like. So lots of greens, there's some purples, there's some blues, anything with green in it, y'all know how I am about it. So I thought this was really pretty and I've heard good things about it. I just, that shade is calling to me right there. It almost looks like it's a duochrome, like it goes from purple to kind of pinkish. Hmm. I might have to play with this soon, but that row of greens and like this row right here, this is all speaking my name. So yeah, this was just a FOMO. I wanted to have it and I was able to get it on sale. So that made it even sweeter. This is another palette that I picked up. I finally, I have been wanting this palette all because of the color story. I've never tried the brand. This is the indie brand Shroud Cosmetics and it's their collaboration palette with Batty Bean. It's the It's Frickin' Bats palette. This just got restocked with the Hollow Bean, I think is the name of it, palette. That one was cute too, but I was like, you don't need two more palettes. And if you have to choose, you've been wanting this, so go ahead and pick it up. This color story low-key kind of reminds me of, <laughs> of Subculture a little bit. You see it? Um... Yeah, this is gorgeous, and I've always only seen it online. I've seen people do looks with it. Sorry if I'm blinding you with that mirror. Um, I've seen people do looks with it, but it's just, it's grungy, but it's fun. And I'm just wondering how well this is going to show on my skin. I'm not doing swatches because I don't want this video to be too long, but even this shade, it's, it looks different from anything that I think I have. I always say that. But just, I'm a very visual person, so could I probably find these shades in my collection and put them together? Yeah, it's possible, but I like to see them all together. So I'm going to reach for this palette before I go pull out nine different palettes to find these shades. So absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to try this formula. This might be, okay, this is the last palette, so it ain't going to be too palette heavy. I finally got my Danessa Myricks Lightwork 4, Lightwork Volume 4 Transcendence Palette. I am wearing this on my eyes today and I have a dedicated video. I don't know which is going up first, probably the other video. I might put this video up first, I don't know. But yes, I have used this. I know you guys have seen it. I'm so mad that I got it so late because I really wanted to try to do a video when this first came out but I'm gonna show you real quick I love that this comes with this little insert to tell you what formula each shade is but this is what the palette looks like I know you guys have seen this and I know you think it's absolutely gorgeous and if you love multi chromes I do feel like it is worth the price I will tell you one of my cons with this palette Ooh. 
And it's only because it was just unexpected. I had a lot of fallout. And I just felt like the way this formula is, especially the velvet chromes, they are so smooth. They almost feel like a cream to powder. But using her applicators that came with this, which I have right here, I had so much fallout on my face. I'm surprised I was able to save my look. I did not play too, too much with the velvet chromes. I didn't play too much with any of this stuff in the middle. I did it for the swatches, but I don't have it on my face. I did not want to mess up my look. So I'm going to play with those a little later, but I think this palette is gorgeous. I do feel like you need to try to get it on sale because it's $125. So Sephora sale, 20% off. If you can get your hands on it, then I would. Speaking of Sephora sale, I randomly got a 20% off coupon from Instagram for Sephora. And they said it was like celebrating the closing of the JCPenney Sephoras and the openings of the Kohl's Sephoras. Baby, listen, I don't need a reason. If y'all want to give me a discount to spend some money on some stuff I want to spend some money on, thank you, boo. So I had stuff in my cart already that I was planning on picking up during the Sephora sale, and I grabbed it now. First thing, I'm just pulling not in any order. This is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Crayon. Yes. So this is the Rare Beauty Lip Pencil. I wanted a shade that... I could wear just with a gloss that wasn't going to be too brown, but it was still dark enough and pigmented enough to outline my lips with. I have used this already. I like this formula a lot, and I really like that this is a retractable. So that's the shade right there. I feel like it is a very cute, my lips but better shade. And again, I love that it doesn't have to be sharpened. This is really inexpensive. I think it was like 15 bucks, 16 bucks, something like that. So I definitely feel like it was worth the price and I like the formula. Next, I picked up, what is this? The Milk Makeup Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. I actually went into a store in Kansas when I was there for my competition and they had all this stuff in store. So I was able to do swatches to see what I needed which helped a lot because a lot of the stuff, concealers, I always go too light. And then foundations, I always go too dark. So it ends up working out and makes my face look good, but it just, it's a hitter. It feels like a miss when I'm trying them out individually. So anyway, I picked this up in the shade 18W and it says it's a medium to full coverage concealer with hyaluronic acid to soothe and hydrate. If I can get it open. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think this is really cute. It reminds me of like the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. I don't know if y'all remember that or not. And I'll go ahead and swatch it. I wanted a shade that would be bright enough to highlight, but not overly bright. Now it might look overly bright on camera, but I feel like that is a really, really good shade. Not too yellow. Oh. They say this is supposed to be medium to full coverage, so we'll see. It is a little more, it says it's warm, but I don't feel like it's like too, too bad to where it's going to look too golden. I don't like that look under my eyes. So I'm going to try this out and see. I'm trying to get better about buying stuff and then letting it sit. I need to try it so I can decide if I'm going to keep it or not. So I will be trying this soon. Next, I picked up the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. Now that my skin is not as oily, I have been leaning more towards blurring hydrating primers. I am mostly concerned about the pores, which I have something else on my face today that is in this bin that I love already. Um, but I need to try this. I just wanted to try this because it looks like it's glowy, but it's not too glowy like a highlighter. This is the packaging right here. I think it is very pretty. Frosted bottle. Feels heavy. Kind of looks. And then it is a dropper. As you can see, I'll try not to put too much of that. One drop should be enough. So that is it there on the back of my hand. 
Okay, good. So that is definitely not shiny like a highlighter. Their highlighters are so intense, but I do see the blurring properties of this already. And it is giving my hand a tiny little bit of glow, but there's no shimmer. So this is very promising. Up next, we have another concealer. This is a new brand that I hadn't heard of before. This is the Colfi, Colfi Main Match Concealer Corrector. I had a shade way too light in my cart for this, and I'm glad they had it in the store. This is in the shade Cherry Pick. It says, never settle for anything less than your main match. This is supposed to be like, doesn't settle into your fine lines, doesn't crease, hydrating, full coverage. I like this a lot. I have this on today, and I do feel like I had to put a lot of powder under my eyes, but... I do feel like this is full coverage. I did not need a lot of it. You can see it's a little bit darker than the other shade, which is a good thing because I can wear it on less glam days when I don't need to be too highlighted, but I like the shade of this. I do feel like it kind of leans a little, little tiny bit peachy, so it'll help with the under eye circles and not just like give a gray cast to the circle. This was a brand I hadn't heard of, so I love concealers. I just recently did a concealer declutter. I don't know what's going up first. Y'all know my videos be all out of order. I'm just trying to get back into the habit of filming regularly again, so just keep watching, you'll see. Next, I finally picked this up. I have been looking at this since the last Sephora sale, and I told myself to wait. This is the Very Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. I didn't know if I wanted to pick up this one or the Givenchy Foundation, and I went with the Given Givenchy. How do you say that? Givenchy? Do y'all say that? Or do you, huh, do you do the French Givenchy? Um, I waited. I picked the other one, and then I was like, you know what? I'm getting this one now. I picked this up in the shade DN2. Um, when I first went into the store, I swore up and down DR2, which is a red undertone, was my shade. This is a neutral undertone, and I will let you guys know right now, I have worn this. When I first put it on, I was like, oh man, this is going to be too light. It is not. I don't know if it oxid oxidized a little bit, but when it dried down, I felt like it was a very good shade match. It is very liquidy when it first comes out, so I actually just took the top off and got a little bit like that. But I do want to do a quick little swatch just so you guys can see. I do have other foundations in here, so I'm going to try to show you swatches on my chest so you can see all of them. But this is what the shade looks like, and we're just going to let that sit so it dries down. But I do think it is a very good match. So I like how it wore. It felt very light. Didn't feel cakey when it dried down. Great coverage. So that's going to be one of my top foundations. Sticking with foundations, I also picked up the House Labs by Lady Gaga Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I'm glad I went in store because I think I was going to pick up shade 460. And I do have samples. So I think that'll be good for you guys to see what the shades look like to compare them. I ended up picking up 450 medium deep warm i forgot what 460 said it was let me see if i can find it real quick so 460 said medium deep warm with warm rosy peach undertones 450 says medium deep warm rosy peach undertones medium deep with warm rosy peach undertones medium deep with warm okay so it says the same thing they don't look the same I'm going to show you the packaging, but then I'm going to show you swatches of both so you can see what I mean. But this is what the foundation looks like. This bottle is heavy. So luxe. It is a little expensive, 45 bucks. So again, you would want to try to get this with the sale. But I love that it has, of course, it better have a pump. Um, they could have did that in Chrome, though, since everything else is. If you want to be picky, I would say that. But I'm going to show you the swatches, so make sure I get this right. This is the, I got my little Sephora sample bag. Yeah, so this is 450 medium deep. And I think this is darker than, yeah, it is. Not by much. 
so that's the 450. So you can see a little bit of a difference in the undertones there. So this is the 460. So let's see if they look alike. And of course they just decided to start weed eating outside. So I'm sorry if you guys can hear that in the background. So this is the 460. So we're gonna let those dry down. I feel like, yeah, it does look a little more golden than the 450 does, but it says they're both exactly the same. So this is 450, this is 460. So I ended up going with 450, which looking at these two together, I'm glad that I did because I think that 460 looks a little bit too warm but they also look too dark. <laughs> Go figure. Another complexion product that I picked up, this is the Patrick Ta for Face Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. I picked mine up in the shade Tan 4. I will let y'all know right now, that is what I have on my face today, and I think it is a really, really great shade match. I was nervous because, honestly, I had Deep 1 in my cart, and then when I went to the store and swatched it, way too dark but when you look at the models online i thought this one was going to be too light for me and it's perfect this is what the packaging looks like similar to all of his other complexion products and she is messy because like i said i did try this one today so that is the shade there and it is a very good match for me especially putting the powder on top it initially comes off a tiny tiny bit i don't know what to call it It definitely, it's a buildable formula. It does, it says that it's warm, but I feel like this is super warm. This doesn't look as warm to me, but I guess it is. This looks the warmest. And then these look like they're leaning more towards neutral. So I don't know, Patrick Ta, these are the house labs and that is the Valentino. Again, all look very different, story of my life, but I have this on my face and I think it is a great match. Feels very good. I've only had it on for a few hours, but I like how it feels so far and it is holding up well. I have another concealer. Mm, we kind of went heavy on complexion. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. I almost did not pick this up because I had trouble finding my shade. This is deeper than what I would normally go for with a concealer, but I do feel like it will look good on my more natural days. I picked this up in the shade 35N, and I will go ahead and swatch it next to these others so you can see the comparison in the shade. It's actually not that bad. It almost looks like a combination of the two. So it can still be used for a full coverage look, but if you want less highlighted, but still want your coverage, I think this will be a great product to use. It says full coverage, blendable liquid cream, weightless feel, 12 hour hydration, all that great stuff. I love the Best Skin Ever Foundation. I do have that in my collection. So when this came out, I was like, I'm gonna have to try it because if it is close to being as good as that, it's gonna be good. Now this next product is very hyped up, so of course I had to get it. This is the Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer. Everybody has been talking about this, and this was honestly just FOMO. I've said this before, but in terms of my love of makeup, the things that I am most in love with, of course eyeshadow is number one, and then it's a close second and third between foundation and primer. I think that is probably the most of what I have in my collection, to be honest. So, do I wanna open this? It says clean blurring primer with collagen peptides. It says oil controller, pore eraser, makeup replacer, and plumping hydrator. Oh, do I wanna open it? Eh, let's open it, I gotta see. So I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand it does kind of have like that lotion look to it. It is just probably gonna be clear, white, whatever. 
kind of smells citrusy. Oh yeah, I see the blur. Ooh, I cannot wait to try that. It kind of has that slippery silicone -y feel. Is this silicone? -y? I do not know. But it feels like it, which I'm okay with, especially if it says that it also controls oil. Don't know how it does that. It almost kind of feels like I have a velvet powder on my skin now. So that is very promising. Next, I picked up, this was, I believe a subscriber told me I needed to try this. This is the Merit Clean Lash Lengthening Tubing Mascara. I'm not gonna open this right now. Y'all know I've been on the hunt for a mascara that is easier to access than the Thrive Cosmetics Tubing Mascara. This is also a tubing mascara. And I just got one from Blink Beauty that's supposed to be really good. And then I heard, who else has one? Ulta has a tubing one? Those are my favorite mascaras, so I'm here for trying all of them. I'm not gonna open this one right now, but I had to pick this up while I could get it on sale, and I can't wait to try it. We have another concealer. So I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury, what is the name of this? Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. This one I picked up in the shade 13 Deep. Again, I had this in my cart and I would have had one that was way too light. I've seen a lot of people do reviews on these, but I haven't really watched them. That's how I found out it was out because I don't pay attention to a lot of makeup release pages. I need to, but I love her foundation. It is way too dark for me right now. I bought it after I got a tan and it's just been sitting. I had trouble getting my shade in that. So I'm kind of glad this is a little lighter because that makes me want to revisit the foundation and use this with it. But this is what the shade looks like. So it's very similar to the other shades that I picked up. And I'm kind of excited because it says that this one conceals, corrects, brightens, and lifts the look of skin. How you do that? Medium buildable coverage, 16 hour wear. It says clinically proven results. Dark circles appear reduced by 40% in 28 days. Skin looks smoother and more radiant. There's hydration boost, hyaluronic acid. Okay, we love products that have skincare benefits in them and anything to help dark circles, I'm here for it. So that would be great if it worked. This was an impulse buy. I saw this in the store and immediately added it to my cart. This is the Glowish Blur Jam. This is a silicone free smoothing primer. So it kind of reminds me of, which one was that? I don't remember, Touch and Soul had a sorbet. It kind of reminds me of that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you the packaging but I did get a sample of this too. So I don't have to open this. This is what the packaging looks like. I think it is really cute. I think this would be super pretty on my vanity. It comes with this little plastic app scooper applicator thing, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to show you the sample just so I can smooth it out like I did with the other ones. It feels very similar to the Cali Ray one in terms of the blow. Man, that feels good. I'm still feeling where I put that one. So let's see how this one compares with that. This does literally look like a balm. Like that is not moving at all. I did try this. So I don't know if you can, hopefully my camera picks this up. This is what it looks like. Like it literally looks like a jam or a jelly. And then you can't see it when it goes on the skin, but it does feel very similar to that Cali Ray one in terms of how it blends out. It doesn't feel as silicone-y though. Like it doesn't have, it doesn't keep that slippery feeling. I don't think this even has a smell, which is nice if you don't like fragranced products. I guess compared to the Cali Ray one, they're not supposed to be the same, but in terms of how they feel, I think I like initially how the Cali Ray feels, but this is drying down too. It just doesn't feel as smoothing as the other one. So that's interesting. I'll have to keep you guys posted on that one. This is another impulse buy, but because I picked up the House Labs foundation, I also decided to pick up the powder. I'm hoping this does not give me the blues the way my Fenty powder did. I need to declutter my powders. I picked this one up in the shade Golden. 
And this is supposed to be a blurring. It's powered with fermented arnica and plant squalene, and it is talc free. It's supposed to be blurring and all this good stuff. So if you're in the market for a powder, maybe try this one. Um, I do have the Huda Beauty one, and I don't even think I have a definite opinion on that one. The opinion I do have is I don't like the Fenty one. I just can't get it to work for me. This is what the packaging looks like. Very, very cute. Very luxe. Feels very lightweight. Oh, this is one of the ones that has that mesh in it. And it says it's golden, but it's almost kind of like a beige shade. Let's see. Yeah, the color showing. That's a really good indication of the color. It's not super, super yellow. And just see how it blends out. We're going to put it over the primer. Ooh. Well, I'm glad I didn't get the lightest one. They have a translucent one, but... That is how it blends out right there. So you can see it will brighten. I'm wondering why that looks a little gray because I just put it on top of the primer. We don't want gray. So I'm gonna have to try that soon because if it looks like that under my eyes, it is going back. Next, I have a hair care product. This is the Way Scalp Serum. I don't know if you guys can tell. I know I can tell my hair has been shedding. It is a lot thinner than it was say a few months ago. Life stress, getting ready for a meet. So hormonally things have been different, but this is a scalp serum that helps to balance and hydrate your scalp to create an ideal environment for thicker, fuller hair. It says drop daily for best results. I've been using a lot of products like this because I mean, I take really good care of the ends of my hair in terms of oils and heat protectants and all that stuff, but my hair is shedding from the root so I notice when it starts doing that, that my scalp will feel drier faster and start itching. I know this is a really good hair care brand. And so when I saw this, it was something that was new. I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It doesn't say it's going to help your hair grow or anything like that. It says supports thicker, fuller hair. I don't think it's going to help grow, but maybe if it just helps it look a little thicker till it starts filling back out, whatever, I'm good with that. Another hair serum, this is the Sephora brand serum. Now these things can be very pricey and I tend to go through them really quick, especially when I'm using them daily like they suggest. So I decided to try the Sephora brand one. It had good reviews and it's less expensive. It says this is the strengthening hair serum to fortify and increase density. It has biotin and phytoproteins in it. So the biotin is supposed to improve your hair quality and then the proteins are supposed to help strengthen your hair. So this is something else that you're supposed to put, is it daily? Apply nightly on dry or damp scalp, massage into the scalp, no need to rinse. So this is a night serum. And then last but not least, I decided to use my point perks. I thought somebody had just left this <laughs> at the counter, but the girl was like, no, 100 point perk. This is the Lily Lash Power Liner. It's a two-in-one lash adhesive and a liner. So if you just wanna line your eyes, you can use this. I would not, but you could. But it's also a lash glue. So you can line your eyes and then apply your lashes. I will keep this in my purse because a lot of times when I put on lashes, after a while, the corners start lifting in the, in the inside. I have the Kiss Lash pin thing. Actually, I think it's up here somewhere. Yeah, this is the clear one. But I also have the black one in my purse and I don't feel like it works that well. So I feel like Lily Lashes, Queen of Lashes, this should work good. So I wanted to pick this up and give it a try. And that is it. I'm going to show you guys these foundations again since they have dried down a little bit. So this is the Valentino. This is House Labs 450. This is House Labs 460. You can definitely see the difference in the undertones, even though they say they are the same. And then this is the Patrick Ta. I do have one more sample. I'm gonna show y'all only because I have it, why not? I was gonna pick up the Hourglass Foundation. I have yet to find one of their foundations that looks good with my skin tone. They have the new ones. I picked up shade number 15, and I just got a sample of it because it was really expensive and I wanted to try it first before I commit to it. So I'm just gonna show you a quick little swatch. 
I think this one might actually be okay. So we're gonna put it right here. It looks way too warm. Like, I already thought this one looks warm, but that is a lot. I know it needs to dry down a little bit, but I'll get my brush and see if I can help that along. I just feel like every time I have tried one of their foundations, they do not look good on me. And then I think they oxidize a lot. Y'all comment and let me know if you've noticed the same with Hourglass. Like it's great that they're expanding their shade range, but I don't know. Let me know if you've tried it, your thoughts on it. Do you like it? Do you think it wear well? All that good stuff. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You seem to love my hauls and then I love shopping. So here we are. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh,